introduction. Goodyear is founded by Frank Saberlin and enters its first home, a robot factory on the banks of the Little Cuyahoga River in East Akron, Ohio, USA. The company is named in honor of Charles Goodyear, who discovered the rubber vulcanization process in 1839. The company makes horseshoe pads, bicycle and carriage tires, ceiling rings for scanning, for canning, fire hose, and even rubber poker chips. By 1926, Goodyear was the largest rubber company in the world. As of 2019, Goodyear is one of the top four tire manufacturers, along with Bridgestone, Japan, Michelin, France, and Continental for Germany. Here are some of the iconic tires of Goodyear. In 1908, Henry Ford's Model T, fitted with Goodyear tires, is a sensation of middle-class consumers. In 1964, using Goodyear tires, Craig Breedlove becomes the first man to top 600 miles, 960 km an hour. In 1971, the first tires on the moon, Apollo 14 Smith modularized equipment transporter was shot with Goodyear's XLT tires. In 1985, Goodyear supplies the first radial tires for commercial aircraft. In 1997, Goodyear is first to win 350F1 Grand Prix races. In 2009, Goodyear and NASA invent spring tire for moon and energy efficient tire that would not go flat. By the year of 2012, Goodyear's air maintenance technology is recognized by Time Magazine as one of the best inventions in 2012. The vision of Goodyear is become a market-focused tire company providing superior products and services to end users and to our channel partners leading to superior return for our shareholders. And their mission is to develop products with superior quality and value that best fills the needs of consumers. The parameter of the topic, the timeline is from 2003 to 2020, Leaders Relations Department. So the point of view, the point of view here is from Robert Keegan, Good Year Chief Executive. Good Year is a wide range of tires for consumers all over the world. Across their brands, they offer all the benefits that the drivers are looking for, from innovative technology and performance handling to all weather reliability and affordable quality. As the company's CEO, the well-being of the company is my first focus. It has a channel conflict that has a significant impact on our dealers and the organization as a whole. It has an impact on the company's sales, credibility with its dealers, and overall performance. With the aforementioned challenges, the corporation made an attempt to remedy the situation and re-establish its position. To make our dealers feel valued, we create good deals that are solely available to them. We provide them with incentives, training, and programs from which they can benefit. After doing so, the company has re-emerged and all that remains is for us to sustain all of our efforts in order to assure the company's prosperity and to improve our organization in being more efficient, improving brand value and reputation, providing a platform for innovation, attracting and retaining employees, achieving greater growth, cutting costs, and strengthening dealers' relationships. So for the major statement of the problem, the sustainability of dealers' relationship. So Goodyear, without a doubt, is one of the world's largest tire manufacturers. So it 
employs over 72,000 people and produces its goods in 54 locations across 23 countries. So they aspire to provide cutting-edge products and services and set industries technical and performance benchmarks. Now, the Goodyear rolls, but no longer over its feet. What problem has arisen? So Goodyear faces a channel conflict after more than a decade of destructive strife with its valued independent network. So the company has taken steps to rebuild its shattered dealer relationship, resulting to a remarkable turnaround. So all that remains for the corporation now is to sustain its focus on the dealers. Also, develop the link between the company and its dealers. the mass objective and the one objective. For the mass objective, first, to gain 30% of the dealers. Second, to sustain strong dealers' relationship. Third, to continuously develop the company's dealership program. For the one objective, to keep their dealers satisfied. Second, to facilitate growth and opportunity among their dealers. Third, to assure the success of their dealers. Fourth, to strengthen the company's and distribution of tires and rubber related worldwide. They are number 4 in Japan, number 3 in Europe, and in the Philippines. Goodyear also established a strong brand identity and customer loyalty. They have a strong focus on innovation and technology. And it also has a strong brand portfolio focusing on the high growth segment for its fitness the studies reveal that the company produces high levels or high amounts of air pollution. And for the number two, it has an intense competition in the tire industry that makes the market share constant. For opportunities, Goodyear developed a concept tire in reducing air pollution. Number two, increased demand in emerging markets. Number three, high market opportunity for premium tires. And for number four, Goodyear has the opportunity to broaden its distribution channel. And for the threats, number one is the volatility in the raw material prices. Number two, the stiff competition from rivalry worldwide. Number three, the imitation of the counterfeit. Let's proceed to the alternative course of actions. 
So the first alternative course of action is to create a community and dealers advocacy program. So nakakatulong ito upang mapanatili ang mga dealers mo. So magkakaroon ng exchange of information between Goodyear and the dealers. So mas mabilis din nilang mapapalaganap yung information about the business, makakuha nila yung tiwala ng kanilang mga dealers kasi nga mas nakikilala nila yung kaalaman ng bawat isa. But for the disadvantage, it takes time in gaining the trust of the dealers and medyo mahirap nga lang ma-maintain yung connection. So for the alternative course number 2, Key Performance Indicator or KPI. So mabilis mong malalaman yung result kung happy, excited, or hindi masaya yung mga dealers mo. Kaya niyang ma-virtualize yung pwede, maging maaaring mangyari in the near future. So it's close learning gap. Ibig sabihin nito, parang magpupuno sa puwang or kung sa kaalaman, magbibigay linaw sa mga maaaring makapagpa-confuse sa mga dealers. But for the disadvantage, nagko-consume nga lang sila ng oras, decrease in quantity, hindi siya for long term, and nagkakaroon din ng standardization. So for the alternative course of action number 3, surprises. So of course, it will create a buzz. Nakaka-motivate din ang mga dealers na patuloy silang magtangkilik sa produkto. Nagiging open din yung relationship within the company and the dealers. It can also set your dealers apart from the competitors. It can be memorable kasi may mga tao na kapag may mga natatanggap sila, for example, the surprise, is yung magbe-benefit din sila. Like, kunwari, may voucher, ganun. Tapos, tinatago kasi nila, di ba, yung iba sa wallet nila. So, kapag nakita ulit nila yon, parang, uy, ito, galing to sa good year nung nagkaroon sila ng mga ganto, ganyan, ayun yung memorable. But for the disadvantage, pwedeng masabing bribery siya. Siyempre, another gastos at nagsaset din ng standards sa mga dealer. Maari din na parang umasa sila na may ganun. Of course, not all the time may ganun. Alright, so now we will talk about a um, plan of action. So action plans are beneficial because they provide a framework in considering how to complete a project efficiently. They assist you in implementing and achieving tasks in a logical order and ensuring that we do not overlook any necessary steps. You can also determine which tasks you'll assign or outsource as well as which tasks we will able to skip. So we can see each task laid out. The table shows the uh, needed duties to complete and achieve the objectives and so so. In the plan of action of good year, we choose to do is to create a community and dealers advocacy program where it helps to sustain the good relationship with their dealers. Also achieve the greatest possible efficiency and productivity with a structured way in visualizing how the information and decisions flow in the organization once it begins. So although planning is uh, very excellent, we also need to have expectation in the project in order to have a successful result. So our strategy, strategy must compromise the proper planning and deployment in the necessary uh, tactics in each of the engagement focus areas whereas we can get a short and long-term strategy that activates customer advocacy is the end that help to educate and sustain the customers and its potential target of the firm 
or the dealers and partners. So here are the five actions that we can we can okay. So uh, the number one that need um action that need to implement is listen to dealers or airing the customers. So the purpose of this is to listen to our dealers and customers pain points and capturing customer feedback in key um in building great customer experience and relationship with its dealer. So here we can construct a community where this community of the customers and dealers has a forum for communicating, exchanging information and help each other to the clip. So this would be done by creating group and give each topics uh, or have a frequent um, answer in questions. This will help assess if the teams of the customers are motivated enough to join to the community and help with the advocacy program. So the team involved here is the marketing and sales team. Also the time frame for this is uh, only for one month. So next one is on um, convey the value of the company by using and utilizing the social media platforms and their website. So through linking of the company's social media sites and its website, it can provide a good communication channel between us also to the art dealers. So social media is the hub of, of the customer's um, journey for them to, uh, to have a social life and have a big network. Also, it's a good chance to reach a large customer base so the team involved here is marketing department so it has three months time all right so now we are in the third um plan of action so the third uh plan of action is the get feedback so uh it utilizes online service and touch points uh, to hear from the dealers and customers about potential areas of opportunity we can improve the company's reputation in terms of the employees that are top talented and can share it in the dealers by helping them to have trainings and support and share the knowledge through uh, facts or frequent ask questions. This will be done by creating surveys that ask the customers and dealers in their readiness to follow the brand of advocacy and provide feedback in our product and services. So the team involved here is the marketing analyst, HR personnel, and the dealers. So the time frame is only for dealers. Okay, so the next is follow up regularly. So there is a way for dealers and customers to remain entertained and continually enjoy their experience in the company. By this, we can have a program for updating and informing them to have a better understanding and cause their attention to influence them in their buying decisions. Also, need to secure an exclusive contract in the dealers to have a better engagement and update them time to time or regularly to avoid conflict in terms of their relationship also to have a have a good connection with each them so the team involved here is the marketing executive and marketing and sales team all right so now we are in the last um plan of action that need to implement so the last or the fifth uh, uh plan of action is give a customers and dealers personalized experience so the purpose of this is to create a vip experience is the better that helps to engage our customers and our dealers in having a wow advocacy all right so this wow advocacy program it implements our offering of the water free assurance membership card that gives our customers and dealer dealers peace of mind on the road and not worrying too much and enjoying more driving your car aside from the consumers also good has an incentive uh, uh, benefits to provide it in, in their dealers so as you can see in your handouts there are the six benefits of the membership card and this are so the first one is a five-year limited warranty in their tires second one is road hazard protecting for Six months. So, see me on. No, sorry. Next one is 24/7 roadside assistance for one year, and personal accident insurance for also one year, and it only have zero percent interest in the um installment so installment plan. So very easy and ownership. Next is 24/7 ang kanila hotline. So you can um contact them anytime, anywhere, anyone you go. So for the Goodyear dealers, we would uh, also offer tools, 
programs, training and support, and others that need of them to sell the tires and sell more tires and become a successful service provider. So, uh, as you can see again in your hand, uh, handout, so the, there are four uh, incentive programs for the Goodyear dealers. So, first one is a spirit of Goodyear. Second is point of sale incentive or POS. Third is reward plus. And fourth is consumer G3. G3X incentive program, but uh, all of the um, programs or incentives or in the uh, membership card, uh, there's uh, terms and conditions. World block analysis. Our plan B, increasing the distribution channel. Many companies increase the number of distribution channels they have to boost their profit. Why? Having more channels means getting more of your products and services. Consumer, which translates to more money. This can be tricky. Adding more layers to the business means they need more oversight. But company will need to spend more time and money investing in this kind of strategy. Companies can earn more revenues and profit by increasing the efficiency of an already established distribution channel. Our plan C Sears will be able to recapture the market of replacement tire for Goodyear and retaining the 2 million tire market at Sears. If the lessee does not generate enough revenue to make the lease contract worthwhile to the lessor, the lessor may choose to determine the agreement and take back full control of property until more profitable tenants is found.